Meet Eric Bailey, not just another motivational speaker. Google has ranked Eric the number one activational speaker on the planet. Eric Bailey is a thought-provoking, critical thinker who will make you approach your business and your life in a whole new way. I really think that we need more Eric's in this world, so bring on the activator more of him. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you Eric Bailey. Eric Bailey. Well, good evening or good morning, wherever you are in the world. This is Eric Bailey, the host of the newly uh, created podcast and YouTube channel, uh, Life After 60. Uh, this is actually episode number two, and you can go over to uh, my YouTube channel, Life After 60, and view episode number one. And we're going to be talking about today is knee move, dancing through knee pain with style. And the reason why I've uh, decided to talk about this at this particular moment is uh, because I, when I was in America uh, not long ago, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I saw so many uh, individuals, male and female, uh, knee wrapped up, you know, hobbling along. Uh, instead of taking the stairs, you know, up places, they were, uh, you know, doing the escalators, and I was, you know, I was powering up. And it made me start thinking about, particularly looking at their age, that um, maybe there were some things that they could do or they could have done to maybe put themselves in a better position at the age that they were to have better quality of life. Now, uh, for those of you who know me or or have seen me on Facebook or some of the other social media platforms, you know, uh, two years ago, I actually had a knee replacement. Now, my knee replacement was due mainly because I was actually born with a disease called Archigut Slatter's, and uh, I had problems with my knees my entire life. And to compound that, I had this idea in my head that I should go and play professional basketball. And then when I retired from professional basketball, I had this notion that I should go and play veterans. And then after I played veterans, I had this notion in my head that, you know what, you still should go out and run around and you know, still play, you know, social basketball. And uh, hence having nine knee operations during my career and then continue running around on my knee, my, my knee uh, got to the point where it was just total. And uh, no matter what I did, I actually, uh, it didn't work. So uh, I actually had uh, a knee replacement, uh, you know, two years ago. And here I am now, uh, two years removed from the knee replacement and feeling fantastic. But there's some things that I wish I would have done better then uh, that may have or may not have. That I really don't know, but it would give me a bit better quality. And so what I thought I wanted to do was to talk to all my all my Gen X's and my baby boomers out there about some of the things that that you could possibly do potentially to give yourself some relief and maybe starve off uh going to the end and having that knee replacement. I've spoken to quite a few people, particularly some of my friends who, who swear they will never, ever, ever get that knee replacement. So this information is, is for you. And if you know someone else out there who is struggling with, with knee pain and uh, potentially we're looking for some solutions, here might be some things that we can do. Now, keep in mind, you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a physio. I'm not a surgeon. I'm just giving you some things that are generally uh, accepted in the profession as something that you can currently do. But obviously, if your condition or your is, is that serious, then go and see a uh, professional. So here we go. One thing you want to do is you want to stay physically active, engaging in a low-impact exercise such as swimming, walking, or cycling can help keep the knees mobile and strengthening, strengthen the surrounding muscles. Now, I because I play professional basketball, I loathe getting into a pool. I loathe walking and I loathe cycling because, you know, it, it, it wasn't that contact. It wasn't that euphoria of shooting the three or going down and trying to dunk, even though, it, you know, 50 plus, you can't dunk the ball. It, just, it was just knowing that you, you could try. It put me off of doing the things that I should have done, which was low impact. So, you know, if you, you know, if you're in a situation where the high impact is really, really, really tough on your body, then, yeah, jump in the pool, do some walking, do some cycling, do whatever you have to do to keep that joint 
uh, very, very mobile. Uh, because looking back, that's some of the things that I should have done. Here's another thing, joint supplements. Some individuals find relief from knee pain by taking joint health supplements containing uh, glucosamine and chondroitin. Now, all supplements are not created equal. Repeat after me, all supplements are not created equal. Now, I've been in the health and wellness business um, for almost 14 years, and I've seen really good supplements, and I've seen some supplements that were just thrown together and as soon as you take them, they, they come out in the toilet. Now, uh, I just want you to know that there are supplements out there that can definitely, definitely, definitely give you to some support. Is it going to fix you? Definitely not. Can you take some supplements and then three months later go, you know what, my knee is 100%? No. It can take some swelling away. It can take some pain away. But in the end, uh, you need to supplement your body. Now, uh, one of my products that I take is called Flex. Um, it's a very, th th this is what I've taken uh, before I had my knee surgery. And I continue to take this because I don't want to have surgery on my other knee. And I got to tell you, um, great cartilage support, no pain. Um, it is, it, it's, it's amazing. Um, so this is called Flex by Pharmanex. And it is a part of my business a part of the product that I'm using, and uh, it definitely, definitely, definitely can give you some relief. Um, so supplements is is great. Uh, uh, drinking a lot of water is great. Stretching is great. Um, the high impact, not so good. And even some of the foods that you're eating. Let me tell you this. Stay away from sugar. Sugar is an absolute poison. Now, I'm going to be transparent I love me some sugar. I love some syrup on pancakes. I love some M&Ms. I love some chocolate. Um, I love anything that's sweet. But now that I'm getting older, I'm in serious, serious, serious moderation because I know the dangers and I know the effects that it can have on my body as I age. The other thing about sugar, it also dries up your skin. So it messes up your uh, follicles, it just messes up your skin. Uh, here's another one. Consult a health professional if knee pain is persistent or significantly impacting daily activities. It's essential to seek guidance from a healthcare professional. When do you know that you need a knee replacement? Is when you bend down and you find it difficult to touch your toes or tie your shoes. You find it difficult to put your pants on. You find it difficult to walk up stairs. You wake up in the middle of the night and you're in a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pain. Uh, stiff. You hear creaking and noises in your knee joint. When you're walking and your knee locks or it bends or unstable, that's the time when you know you need to go knocking on the door and getting some help from uh, a healthcare professional. I waited until it was evident that there was no other help for me when I decided to go and get my knee replacement. So uh, consult a healthcare professional. The knee pain is that bad so that you can definitely uh, get some help. I want to talk about one more part, and that is your weight gain, what you're putting in your body what types of foods that you're eating. I wanna talk about your visceral fat, that weight around the midsection. I wanna talk about maybe the alcohol, the vaping, the cigarettes, the bad lifestyle, the staying up late at night, the on the screens and all out of the night, the, 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 the blue light, the screen light. When we talk about aging gracefully, we must talk about making sure that you are educated in the things and the ways that you need to look after your body so that you can age gracefully. I've now decided that I am now going to modify, transform the way that I've been eating, say over the past three years, because I'm gaining too much visceral fat. That's right, I'll say it, visceral fat. It's that, it's that here, right? That, that, that gut stuff, that is, no good for your organs. 
no good for your liver. You you get that around there. Now we start talking about diabetes. We start talking about cancer. We talk about all of the, the stuff that's, I'm not going to say it's not reversible, but it takes a toll on your body. So starting tomorrow, August 1st, well, today, because this is being broadcast on August 1st, I'm going on a body transformation with another one of my products, TR Me. TR Me and TR Me. I'll put some links in the in the section below. You can read about it, but it's all about making sure that number one, I'm speeding up my metabolism, I'm reducing my carbs, I'm reducing my sugars, I'm increasing my uh, my, my protein. I'm drinking more water. I'm doing more weights. My, my gym closed down two months ago. Haven't been to the gym in two months. Haven't been really doing a whole bunch of exercise. Went to America, ate everything I wanted. Now I've come back. And let me tell you something. I feel heavier. I look heavier. I've, I've lost some energy, my mental clarity, my agility. All of that has been eliminated all in the space of two months because I've changed the way that I was I've been living my life, but now I'm going to get back on track. I got some help with some products and uh, I recommend to every single person, particularly, like I said, Gen X and baby boomers. If you're getting to that point in your life when you are starting to feel a little bit heavy, uh, you know, you're not sleeping well at night, you know, your diet's not good, uh, you're losing your, your, your mental energy, your clarity and all of that. I suggest you start looking at uh, what you're putting into your body. I've said this a hundred times. I've said it a thousand times. I've probably said it one million times. And it's this, you don't get what you want in life. You get what you work for. And when we look at where we are, and I'm talking about we being, I'm a baby boomer. I'm talking about where we are right now. The question we must ask ourselves is, if we continue doing exactly what we're doing right now, today, what we did yesterday, what we did last week, what does our future look like? What does our next week look like? What does our next month look like? Are we improving or are we declining? Because if you just say, I want to stay exactly where I am, then that means you're not improving. What is it that you are living for? What are you working for? Say, I've got two grandkids. I've got a beautiful daughter. Oh, man, like I want to grow old and see what my grandkids, what they can produce, what, what they do in their life. I want to be able to go and play basketball, play netball with my, my granddaughter and my grandson and run around and still be agile. I want to be able to enjoy life with them. And the only way I can do that is I must transition myself now. I know a lot of us in our age right now, we're thinking about, you know, we've got a, we've got deadlines. We've got to make that money. You know, we've got, we've got bills to pay. We've got, you know, all this thing, all these things happen to, but you cannot enjoy your wealth without taking care of your good health. Right now, as I look around the landscape of, some of the companies and some of the people that I'm working with and, and talking to them, they talk about, you know, how they're working 60, 70, 80 hours a week. And I says, well, what about your body? What are you eating? They're grabbing something where, where they can. Take some time to start asking yourself, what do I have to do to improve the temple? Because if, if the temple is not working well, then your production is not going to be at the highest caliber. As a professional athlete, when I think back to it, I remember the best times of my professional career is when I ate right, when I slept right, when I got a lot of rest, when I, when I de-stressed. But now that I'm a motivational speaker, I still have to adopt that attitude into my life. If you're a parent, do you want your child to have good, healthy habits? If the answer is yes, then you have to have healthy habits yourself. Subscribe, like, join the channel, share the channel. This channel is for you um, to have a place to go where you can get some tips, some strategies, some tools to increase uh, the best outcomes of your life. We will evolve in the channel. I'll be bringing on special guests. We'll be talking um, if there's a, something that you'd like for me to talk about, something that you want to hear about, leave it in the comments section, send me an e email, you know, shoot me a text, whatever it takes. Uh, I want to make sure that at least once a week uh, we're getting together and we're talking about relevant things that's going to help us at that life over 60. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week.